step number five, create an ad and run your campaign. By this point, you should have reverse engineered your competitor's profile. You should have made educated guesses as to what kind of ads they run or which other posts they have promoted. It's a good idea to go through all their pages posts once again. Please understand that not all your competitors' ads will show up on their page. Facebook does allow for dark posts. These posts never appear on your Facebook page timeline. It's as if they don't exist. Keep this in mind. When you study your competitors' posts to look for indicators of success, like number of shares, number of likes, and comments, you're only seeing part of the picture. Still, this is better than nothing. As I have mentioned repeatedly in this training, you need to do reverse engineering or preliminary consumer intelligence to get a head start. Just because you did it once, it doesn't mean that you should stop there. You have to look at all your competitors. Get a general idea of what works and what doesn't work. You have to do this before you create a targeting plan for your ad. Otherwise, you shouldn't be surprised if your ad doesn't do all that well. Please remember that if you have absolutely no previous idea coming into the ad creation process, as well as the audience targeting dynamics of Facebook, your chances of failure are quite high. So a little bit of advanced preparation could go a long way. Now, this depends on your niche. Some niches are pretty much well represented on Facebook. It's very easy to see who your competitors are. A lot of them show their ads on their timelines, and you can pretty much figure them out. However, for the vast 90% of niches out there, you have to make more educated guesses. Just because some of your competitors are on Facebook, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have the best ads or that they know what they're doing. Still, this is better than nothing. In this video, you're going to learn how to create an ad and run it. But at the end of the day, it all boils down to how well you do in the following video. I'm going to instruct you on how to get started, but ultimately, how you optimize your ads will determine whether you will be successful or not. Create your Facebook ad. When creating an ad, remember to focus on the message. A lot of advertisers think that an ad has to be specific to a product or service. This is a common mistake. You have to remember that most of the time, before people buy anything, whether online or offline, they have to see a brand several times to develop some sort of familiarity. If you don't believe me, answer this question. When was the last time you bought something from a complete and total stranger? If you're like most normal people, the answer would be never. If you're going to spend your hard-earned money, at the very least, you would insist on some level of trust. It's not like some random person telling you a lie from the internet will get you to whip out your wallet and take out your credit card. Things normally don't work like that. It is all about building familiarity. Unfortunately, if your ads just focus on a product, that's not going to go far. In fact, in many cases, people would forget about the product. The better approach would be to focus on the overall message your brand represents. Are you there to help people get better sleep? Are you there to get people to live more comfortable lives? Is your business aimed at maximizing peace of mind? You have to operate at this level. And the good news is, you don't have to take shots in the dark. Look at what your competitors are doing. How are they playing this game? Do they focus too much on a product? How well did that do? Are they focusing on a general message that can lead to products? How do those compare? Once you have gotten this information, you can then take the next step, which is to choose between a completely new ad or promoting a post that is already on your page. Step number one, choose among the type of ads you can run. Facebook accommodates a lot of different ad types. You can choose among the following depending on your overall objective. Lead ads. Lead ads are available solely on mobile devices. They are designed for one-click subscription. Since people using mobile devices like tablets and phones can't be relied on to stop what they're doing and open a new page to enter their email address, Facebook has made it so much easier on them. They just need to click and the ad will supply you their information. Instant Experience These were formerly called Canvas ads. These are full-screen ads that load really fast. Depending on the type of product or service you are promoting, this might be a good fit. Collection Ads these show your product or other products presented side by side. These ads are available only on mobile devices. When customers like what they see, they can click it and buy it instantly. This ad is only possible on mobile devices because on a desktop, you normally can comfortably fill out ad fields and forms. That doesn't work on mobile. Accordingly, sales collection ads are only available on mobile ads. Slideshow ads. These are videos that feature compilations of short video clips or still images. The key here is to grab attention while at the same time saving bandwidth. Even people with very slow internet connections can still see these ads. They attract quite a bit of eyeballs. Carousel ads. 
Carousel ads are a collection of as much as 10 video clips or photos of whatever service or product you are promoting. The great thing about carousel ads is they tend to be longer, so you have a lot more space and opportunity to present the benefits of your product as well as different features. This is a great way of explaining what your product brings to the table in an attention-grabbing way. Video ads. Video ads take two forms. You can highlight what your product is like when people are using it, or it can simply be aspirational. You can even show scenes of people having a good time, people smiling, enjoying themselves, and then projecting your brand. Please understand that aspirational ads are not necessarily wastes of time. When was the last time you bought a Calvin Klein underwear product because Calvin Klein just showed a picture of the underwear on a page? Chances are never. Usually cologne, perfume, and fashion products are sold not so much to the images or video of the products themselves, but the lifestyle of the people that supposedly own those pieces of clothing. This is why Ralph Lauren or Calvin Klein fragrances often show people on vacation or in some sort of moody black and white scene. They're selling you a lifestyle or a mindset. That's what you're buying into. Well, the same dynamic applies for online video. It doesn't have to be literal. It doesn't have to just present your product and people enjoying different features of the product. Depending on your niche or product category, it might make more sense to advertise using aspirational or lifestyle videos. Photo ads. This is the most common Facebook ad. Basically, you show a picture and then there's a caption beneath it. Facebook does have strict rules on how much text you can put on your photo ad. Generally speaking, the photo is supposed to draw attention long enough for people to read the title and the description and then make a decision whether to click through or not. Dynamic ads. Dynamic ads allow you to promote specific products to people who are more likely to be interested in them. This uses Facebook's very robust audience profiling and targeting system to create a match. It's not always effective, but with enough tweaking, this might work for you. Step number two, design or lay out your ad. In this section of Facebook Ad Manager, you can select between promoting many different products that fall within the same category or just one specific offer with one specific image. Once you have selected the pictures or video clips or single piece of content, the next step is to select the media you're going to use for your ad. You can choose between video, slideshows, or images. Facebook will step you through the process of creating carousel or multi-product ads and will prompt you for the images. Always create variations. When I first started on Facebook advertising, I just had one picture to promote one product and I had a fixed model text. As you can well imagine, my campaign did not do well. How come? Well, it was a one-trick pony. I only had one bite at the apple. With Facebook, you can actually choose as many as six images for the single ad. This makes a lot more sense because you get six chances at drawing attention and getting that click. Your ad campaign essentially gets six variations. You get six chances at getting the engagement you are looking for and getting the Facebook user to do what you want them to do. Always create more than one ad. I hope you know where I'm going with this. Don't just focus on creating one ad. You don't know how well that single ad would do. You're putting all your eggs in one basket. The better approach would be to create many ads. The more, the better. All are tied to different images. Run a test on them and set a fixed ad budget. So, once you cap how much money you will be spending on Facebook, usually I set this very low, you will quickly figure out which of the images are working and then you should increase your budget to the most successful ad. Size and format recommendation. The image size for ads is 1200 by 628 pixels. I always use PNG format. What background color should you use? You should use a very vivid background. Please understand that your ad will show up on users' news feeds. You want something that would stand out. You want something that would grab attention. After you have selected the background, you are then ready to work on the text of your ad. Your choice of Facebook page is crucial. Please understand that Facebook doesn't just show your ad out of nowhere. It has to be connected to one of your Facebook pages. Make sure there is a strong thematic connection between the subject matter of your ad and the Facebook page you select to run the ad from. At the very least, if people are not ready or willing to buy the product or service you're promoting, they can at least click through to the Facebook page. Maybe you can get a like out of it. This gives you another bite at the apple. Because the more likes your Facebook page has, the more eyeballs will see your posts when you get around to posting new content on your Facebook page timeline. Text ad writing tips. The next step in the ad creation process is to write the text portions of your ad. As important and as vital as the image portion of Facebook ads may be, your ad will live or die based on your text. Let's put it this way. 
You can have a picture that is very attention-grabbing, but pictures can only go so far. Forget what you've heard about pictures being worth a thousand words. If people cannot make out what that picture means or what that picture leads to, you have just lost yourself a sale. You have just wasted your money on Facebook ads. It's very important because it draws eyeballs, but it has to lead somewhere. The payload is the headline and the text that will flesh out what the specific value of the ad is. Remember this question. People are always asking this question in any kind of sales scenario. What's in it for me? If your ad does not do a convincing job of answering that question, people are not going to click. People are not going to waste their time figuring out more information because they have better things to do. You have to make sure that every single character of text that your ad uses pushes the ad forward. What do I mean by that? Every character or every piece of text or symbol must deliver on the expectations or must appeal to the needs of your target user. The text is divided into two parts, headline and description. Headline. For headline text, you are limited to 25 characters. If you are advertising a post, on the other hand, you have 90 characters to work with. Headline writing success tips. The headline should be as short and punchy as possible. Assume that your reader doesn't have all the time in the world to figure out what you mean. Choose your words carefully. The shorter the text and the more emotionally impactful it is, the better. The headline should be short and effective. So in a very small space, you should make it abundantly clear what the headline is about. The secret here is to focus on benefits. In four words or less, what is the main benefit your product delivers? You then have 15 words for the description in the link. The 15 words should flesh out what you promised in the headline. The headline must attract attention while at the same time filtering the reader. The reader must immediately see what your product is about. Main text. The main text of the ad basically spells out and reiterates the value of your product. It follows through on promises you made in the headline. It fleshes out the description. Don't make the mistake of writing a mini essay. People don't care about that. People don't have the time or the resources to mess with that. Instead, pretend you're still pressed for space. So, in the main text, make sure that every single word counts. Every single word must back up and support what you've said before. It also must be so convincing in terms of value or curiosity that people are pushed to click the call to action button. Action buttons, also called call to action or CTA. This is the button intended to notify the user to take an action. This can be a line of text, a button, or an image. Your CTA must depend on what exactly you want the reader to do. For example, if you are selling a single product, the most fitting call to action would be get now, buy now, shop now. When they click this, you link them to your landing page. This is the page you control. This is the page that does the heavy lifting of selling the visitor and converting that person. There's a link beneath call to action that says show advanced options. Click this. Put in a newsfeed link description. This will appear below your ad's headline. Make sure you check the preview of your ad. Always make sure that the preview is legit. Make sure it looks exactly the way you want it to look. Once you're happy with the ad creative, click on Review Order. This command will then show you all the campaign settings as well as your ad details. Go through each field very slowly and deliberately. Think about the consequences. Ask yourself, is this the best I could do or are there other alternatives that I am overlooking? Once you are comfortable and confident with what you've done, click Place Order.